gentleman from California is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I'd like to thank my chairman for this opportunity. I rise in opposition to the gentleman from, uh, Cal uh, from California and his amendment. I'm pleased to have this opportunity to talk about what may well be the most important problem facing our world today, global warming. And I bought this important project to help us deal with it. The gentleman and many of his colleagues on that side of the aisle may wish to keep their heads in the sand about global warming. But I believe we need to prepare to deal with the problem today. And I'm not alone in this view. The United States Global Change Research Program, which coordinates and integrates federal research on changes in the global environment and their implications for society, released a new report yesterday that provides an authoritative assessment of national and regional impacts of global climate changes in the United States. This new report provides a valuable, objective, scientific consensus on how climate change is affecting and may further affect the United States. It reveals that climate change will alter precipitation patterns and the timing of mountain snowmelt and predicts that climate change could bring parching droughts to the southwest, home of some of the gentlemen offering this amendment. One of the keys to dealing with these changes is going to be adaptation, developing ways to protect people and places by reducing their vulnerability to climate changes. To properly adapt to more extreme climate events, we need to have information, data, accurate weather forecasting. The weather forecasters trained to predict the extreme events expected with climate change can give the American people the advance warning needed to deal with or even escape from, if necessary, these dangers and avoid tragedies such as Hurricane Katrina. The funding for this amendment seeks to strike, would be used by San Jose State University to complete the development of a field experience curriculum to supplement the existing Bachelor of Science in Meteorological program. This will allow San Jose State University to better train the next generation weather forecasters, helping to ensure that government can plan and respond properly. And by the way, in time shot that will be used over and over again as instruction goes on. The field experience will improve the quality of the graduates by exposing them to a wider array of weather phenomena that is typically experienced where the school is located. This will enhance their ability to recognize and forecast the wide array of weather that is likely to be experienced in California and across the nation in the next 30 years as we experience climate change. I know the gentlemen often ask, why is this project and others uh, others are not worthy projects. Well, the Department of Meteorology at San Jose State University is the only is the only meteorological department in the public university system in the state of California, the nation's most populous, with a strong focus on undergraduate program. There are very few Bachelor of Science in meteorology programs in the western states, so the benefits of this program will extend to other states in the region whose students will attend San Jose State. There are not a lot of options for developing this important curriculum, and San Jose State University has the faculty base capable of developing and offering this new course. So gentlemen also often ask, why should the federal government be funding this? I think NOAA makes that point for me. The headline from NOAA News online story from the agency's website reads, NOAA leads climate impact and adaptation activities. This is what NOAA does. In its own words, NOAA is dedicated to enhancing economic security and national safety through the prediction and research of weather and climate related events. The curriculum that the funding in this bill will complete will help NOAA achieve this mission. The university will seek other funding sources in order to offer the class after it has been geared up. But to get the program started, I think it is perfectly appropriate for NOAA to make a small investment in the development, in the development of a field experience course that will help to better train the next generation of weather forecasters to predict the extreme weather events that are expected to accompany climate change. Just a side word on this. When I was going to San Jose State back in the 60s, 
some of the new words like ecology, food web, smog, other terminologies which is common among youngsters today started then at university. And today these are concepts that are necessary for understanding the kinds of things we're faced with. I thank the chair. And I yield. The time of the gentleman from West Virginia has expired. The gentleman from California. May I inquire as to